listen to them pigs. It was spitting and squealing just like a pig. in the action <laughs> I was going to say we saved Cynthia you don't save anybody in this game everybody gets got um, I don't know is there anything I need to do I already saw stuff happen outside the window radio Oh, there's a note. There's a note. That is actually important. Well, a scrap of red paper. Although the cult itself is gone, I'm sure the spirit of it is still alive. There are too many strange things happening in that town. We're investigating two people, or maybe I should say just one. I've just about discovered what's going on. April 8th. Wait, April 8th? That's today. It's gotten bigger. So this time we get plopped out um, in the middle of the woods. Yeah, okay. Henry always looks like he really just... He just wants to stay sitting down forever. It's like, ah... Uh... So tired. All I do is sit in my apartment all day, but I'm still so tired. And honestly, that's pretty accurate. There's so many. There's so many. <laughs> God. Oh my God. Holy. What is this? What is this?
Absolutely a don't fight run game. Although I'm taking a good amount of damage running too. Wow. Oof. Um, there's writing on the stump. Damn. Oof. In my younger years, I was way more familiar with this game. That is not the case anymore. Oh, hello. So the, you, you came to investigate this, this stone too? No. There, there was a, another guy here before, a, a real nosy guy. There's a health but, but, uh, I was the one who bottle the somewhere first. around here. In, in I think. The, oh, 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 ah, whatever. I'm not looking for it right now. Gonna be some dogs. The meat's gonna drop right there. But I dodged the meat. Just trust me. There, there's absolutely falling meat that you can get uh, trapped by. <laughs> that worked well. That worked well. I don't know what that said, but I was <laughs> in too much of a hurry to leave. Oh man. Alright, and J Jasper, because that guy's name is Jasper. He's not here yet. He'll he'll be here eventually. We're gonna um, How do I look at my health? I don't, I don't get to look at my health. Oh, okay. R2. Um, it's not bad. And I have no health drinks, but still, still. Should be fine. Really should. the key to this house. That is what I'm looking for. There's a ghost. We're gonna just let that ghost get caught on the geometry. Good. Oh. Hello. Hey, little boy. What are you <laughs> doing here? Why would you say it like that? You're finally the third revelation. Something's gonna happen. That nosy guy that was here, he said it too. Something big is gonna happen. Finally, it's gonna happen! <laughs> I mean, we all have a Jasper in our lives, right? Anyway, uh, graveyard? So, grave. Grave has been dug. Weird numbers. Mm. There's stuff scattered on the ground on the other side of the fence, like something was thrown away from over there. Fascinating. Weird writing that I can't read. Weird door that I can't open. Torch that I can't light. 
I think I just needed to trigger that cutscene and then evacuate. How's the weather up there? Oh no, I am caught on the geometry. Okay, next up. Uh, okay. Next up is probably this door over here. I'm, I'm gonna. Well. gonna keep playing this game I'll have to practice because there's definitely times when you're supposed to wow there's a lot of enemies a lot of enemies way too many jeez why are there so many oh my gosh no Silent Hill 2 is not like this. There's not a thousand enemies in every room. I mean, that's good. I've got the med kit. Oh, I was supposed to... I was supposed to drop that uh, placard in the crate. What do we got? Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. I don't even know. It's kind of feeling like I didn't need to go here. Yeah, there's weird writing everywhere, apparently. Oh, wait, there's an item over there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's not an item, that's a lamppost. Anyway, what, what are you looking at? You looking at the hole? You looking at the grave? Definitely looking at the hole. I think we're just going to have to book it uh, through here. Because the only item I need is all the way back elsewhere. Oh, wow, this is horrible. Come on, come on now. Come on now. That should be an area of effect. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Let's go. Oh, man. I used it. <laughs> Didn't die. Oh, horrible. Horrible. Holy gracious. Am I... Is it... Is it this one over here? Wait a minute, I need a... I need a... <sighs> Alright. There's a shut... There's a little spade. And you dig... You dig the key up. And, um... And then you have to use a little... Clever... Have I been here? No, I have not. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna dash through here, hopefully. Oh, so many... Wow, wow. So this is probably the area where the... Where you gotta dig the thing up. The key. But I don't have the... The little... Gardening trowel yet. Oh my. Thank God, it's just a tree root. It's not a human 
arm. Anyway. I'm trying to think of where the... Oh! The... Okay. Nope, nope. This is good. This is good. I know what to do now. I have remembered... I have officially remembered what to do. There's nothing. Let's get out of here. What is this? Oh, another golf club. Nice. Please. Six iron. Pretty good. Alright. Let's get out of here. So you absolutely need to go to the graveyard. But I don't think you need to go through the mine mining area until uh nothing. But what's important right now is I am thirsty. With a, with a thirst that can only be quenched by lukewarm. Although, who are we kidding? <laughs> this, this chocolate milk is very warm. <laughs> it's been sitting in uh, this chest for quite some time. But we're going to take it. And we're also going to answer... Is, is the, who's that at the door? Is that... Is that Secretariat? Oh. Help me! Help! Let me out of here! There's something going on in this room. What do you mean? I heard weird noises coming from inside there. Help! Hey, Richard, can you see anything from your window? No. Everything looks pretty normal to me. The guy who lives here, what's he like anyway? Richard! I know his name and face, but that's about it. Well, I'm going to go call the super. Yeah, good idea. Damn it. <laughs> no. They can't hear me. My rent's going to go up. He won't open the door. Raises rent. Uh, I think that's... I dropped some stuff off. I got the chocolate milk. I think that's all I really need to do. Alright. Back into the fray. So the ghost is waiting for me, and that's fine. It really is. What is not fine is the profusion of dogs, werewolves, and giant moths everywhere else. Is there three rooms? No way. Wow. Let's go, let's go. No, the whole pack, the whole pack is here. Four. Jeez. This game is wild. Alright. There he is. Hey yo. He has a triggering that cuts you in the graveyard, makes him here. And he, he's thirsty too. Does he want me to sh share my chocolate milk? Somehow. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> Here, take this. There's something written on it. Like every true metalhead. 
They love chocolate milk. Yeah, sure. Blood, it's blood inscribed. Opposite where the lake and house meet, inside the hand holding onto the ground. What could it mean? Did I go the wrong way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's this one straight ahead. That's what it is. It's gotta be, right? <laughs> oh. oh! No! Oh, jeez! Why are you like this? Why are y'all like this? No! digging. Warning. Incredibly scratchy sounds. Oh. Dirt doesn't, dirt doesn't sound like that. I'm not gonna wander for eternity. Just gonna wander for a little bit. dream. That was weird. I dreamed I picked up a rusted blooded key. But that can't be right. That's the sound from the... <laughs> That's a Shiba Inu sound. <laughs> Meanwhile... 
Definitively not Shiga Inus. Let me out, let me out, please. Holy. Oh. My legs, my legs hurt. For do you like your new toy? And it's a very delightful dog video that sounds exactly like that howling horror sound that we heard while traversing the forest. Anyway. This is a fun little puzzle. If you if you try to exit that area while you still have the key, you get stuck in an infinite loop. So you go through the hole, drop the key off, come back, pick it up, travel back through the hole. It's a fun little use of the in-game mechanic. A little bit of inventory shuffling. I don't know if you have to do anything like this ever again, though. You probably do, but... This is absolutely the first time you have to do it. Alright. Curse bypassed. Key acquired. Now we can enter the Wish House. What's in the wish house? Um, uh, honestly, trigger warning because there's going to be some screaming and a uh, immolation. <laughs> that's uh, that's a little brutal if you want to look away for a moment. The graphics aren't good, but it is nasty. What is this? A scribbled note. Have you found Alessa yet? How is Walter's progress coming along? Send me a report. Uh huh. Lock is broken. Well, oh, hey, well, you're in here too. Okay. There's a light. A light in the uh, Frankenstein. Oh, here we go. What is this? It's falling apart. I can't even read most of the page, but here's the part I can read. The second sign. And God said, Offer the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil. Be then released from the bonds of the flesh and gain the power of heaven. From the darkness and void bring forth gloom and gird thyself with despair for the giver of wisdom. The third sign. And God said, Return to the source through sin's temptation. Under the watchful eye of the demon, wander alone in the formless chaos. Only then will the four atonements be in alignment. Whatever that means. You know what it means? It means things are heating up for Jasper. Ah! <laughs> ah! 
Oof, yeah. Creepy stuff. A special news report. In a forest near Silent Hill, the burned corpse of a 30-year-old male was discovered earlier today. The police have ruled it a homicide and are investigating. The numbers 17121 were reportedly carved into the man's body. Due to the marks on the victim, the police are investigating possible links to the Walter Sullivan case 10 years ago. But how could that be? Walter's dead. A copycat? Who is it? It's the super. Yeah, it's definitely the super. <laughs> This is the superintendent. Are you in there, Henry? Help me! There's something wrong with this room! Help! Let me out of here! Is anybody home? What's going on here? The subtitles were turned on, it would say old man noises. That's strange. That's the right key. Um, I'm sure I heard something in there. Same one as back then. That reporter fellow, Joseph Schreiber. A new handprint. Ooh. Well, we're going to go here. Gonna put that away. And the forest honestly did not take that long. I am gonna save just because I'm not as good at this game as I used to be. And let's continue. Uh, there's no notes that I can see. Okay. Yeah, we'll continue. For a little bit. The hole, it's the same size. Just like that time. Good area. <laughs> Honestly, this might be the strongest area in the game.
check these doors. Just so that I can mark them off on the map. I'm being watched from the middle room. A note. Lucky, I finally escaped from the cell. I decided to take a careful look around this building. The scariest place was the first floor basement. There's a kitchen in the northeast, but next door in the northwest is a death chamber. To get in there, you have to punch in the right numbers. I don't know the numbers, and it was too dark to even see the panel, so I didn't go in. Uh. He's gonna kill me. Oh, there you are. I'll, I'll do my best. Get me the hell out of here. This is also the area where get things out. get complicated. <laughs> Although, get me out. I think mostly you have to exit. Let me think. Um, because we are trying to get him out of that room. What is this? To get to the first surveillance rooms in the middle of the complex, you have to use the corpse disposal chutes. The cells have corpse disposal chutes. Wonderful. Um, the first and second floors, these cells are locked. That's so the kids wouldn't discover them. Oh man, so the kids. Oh wow. So you have to get to the first floor from one of the cells and the third floor. I know how to do it, but it's really a pain. Yeah, no kidding. Also, the lights only work on the third floor. Yeah, this is a. This is one of them. Because I think you have to align the floor. <laughs> So there's corpse disposal chutes, but also the rooms can be rotated from the center. So you have to rotate them so that the light goes down all the way down to the like first floor. And that way you can enter the code, maybe? Oh, hello. Good thing is you can hug this wall and none of these guys can get you. Oh! I spoke too soon. But... Oh, I guess. That was a good trip. Uh, I feel like I need to go down first, though. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and trust my instincts, because they're not, they're not really instincts. They're just buried memories of my, <laughs> of my time playing this game. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to get down to the bottom of this first. Okay, good. I'm already here. Not that long a trip. And then down here, there's the water wheel, and I don't know, probably some key items or something. Oh! No! No! Go! No, get, get, go on, go on, get, oh, one of them escaped, one of them got out, one of them got loose, okay, mm -mm. no, no, stop it, stop it, 
I wish they would. Okay, so obviously the d if you knock them down the hole, they don't stay down the hole. They just kind of land on the. Uh... <laughs> I'll keep doing it. Oh, there's so many. kind of land they land on the uh, invisible plane down there that prevents it from being a bottomless pit that that destroys it that destroys the uh, game's memory which is good but I wish it you know I wish it would just kill them this room I don't think I can do anything in this room just yet which is fine. Oh, come on now. Good. Good squish. Is there anything down here? Did I... Was this a miscalculation? I don't need to come down here yet. I don't need to come down here ever. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. This reminds me of home. Okay, so instincts probably wrong. Don't feel like I needed to be down here yet. Oh. But the area has been secured, so, you know. That's good. Fellas, I don't know what I'm doing. Get me out. Get me out. A note. Not a good note. I didn't need to do that. That was a waste of time. Okay, that's that's all the doors here. Everything else is locked. Uh Okay, there must be a door. There must be a door um in the outside stairwell that Yeah, that that's the third. I think you start start on the third. That's what it. Okay. So you 
immediately go down. Go the opposite direction. Yep. Oh. Well. Maybe. Hmm. I may just need to go through this uh, hole. Unless... Well, I think that was a corpse that I just saw. I thought it was an item, but it's probably just a corpse of a... Uh... Yes? Oh, it's a key. Key found, it says... Up. Oh. Hmm. No. So I just, I missed a key. Come down here, grab the key, run immediately back up, never return. Ladder up, and then you go down a little bit to get to the next ladder up. Because that way you dodge all the wall, the wall friends, and then exit. Yeah, there we go. I knew, I knew you needed to go outside. And there's a ladder here to go up. And you go up this ladder, and they, they decided they didn't want to animate this, so you just... Um... Alright, this is good. I think you can basically ignore the slugs. But at this point, you start getting... Aside from the slugs... Oh, come on, dude. You start getting... Uh... <laughs> Something that I'm going to pull out the gun for. <laughs> oh, jars. With little plastic figures in them? That's weird. the surveillance room's peephole the whole time and sometimes he's there. I can tell because I see a shadow move or hear his footsteps. Rare proper usage of cause. Cause. Okay. Not yet. Stomp it. Please? No? Okay. Whatever. There you go. is broken. Alright. Is that all? This is not a good floor. Alright, this is the floor where I actually am going to need... Not need, but gonna be better. What is this? Their clothes. They're my size. Stop, please. Thank you.
Do not shoot the slugs. <laughs> did, did you see it? Yesterday in the cafeteria, I heard there's a death chamber behind the kitchen, and they take meat straight from the dead people and cook it. That really scared me. Hmm. I'm in trouble. I stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled as loud as I could, but nobody came out. What? Why are you in trouble, then? Anyway... Trouble. Oh no. This is probably it. I mean, I think there's only one hole that you can really jump down at the beginning because you ha you just you just have to do it. Maybe. Oh, that's a oh. No. Oh. Come on now. Aha. you mm, something written on the paper now it look like I'm sleeping oh because they put the uniform on the bed but you're supposed to stuff the uniform with uh... oh boy <laughs> Oh, there's two holes. Uh, of course there are. But that one has a bloody bed, so maybe that's the one I need to go down. No, that's not right. I need I need to check the map. That's what it... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I need to go down the one that I... It's this one. Okay, it's this one. Because all of those doors were locked. So I have to jump down here to get through the locked doors. Yeah, the lock's broken. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. Can probably make this work. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Man. 
scary fight. Although I probably should have just left. Yeah. <laughs> of course. I think the ladder's over. No. Okay, that's unlocked. But now I can access. Yeah. But this. Locked from the inside, so. That's where I actually need to get to is the locked door. I think. Which I think involves lining up the bloody beds. Because we come over here, we go up. This place continues to deteriorate. The doors to a number of cells no longer open. As a result, the kids inside can no longer go inside. But the less they know about that, the better. Uh, I can't open the doors, but from this room I can watch them get more and more emaciated each day. With no food and never showering themselves, they turn into smelly little gray lumps in there. Uh, following the suggestion of an engineer, we have disposed of the corpses by digging a hole below the cells, since each floor of this building can be rotated independently, and in, in an absolute engineering marvel, each floor can be rotated. We can dispose of the bodies without the others noticing by aligning each cell with the body in it vertically. P.S. Chief, I bet you're just dying to see the interrogation room behind the kitchen. I understand your feelings, but have you noticed there are three rooms with bloody beds? First, second, and third. If you line those three up, then it's bingo. Yeah. So with that said, at one point, this is the kind of thing I'd have memorized, but I don't, so, you know. Charming. Hey, bloody bed. So since that's a bloody bed... Oh. can't rotate that. But what I can do is go up. And then this floor you can rotate. Okay. So. Well, that's convenient. So I need to rotate one, two, three, four. Clockwise. So four to the right. That should have done it. Mm, I don't think it did it. <laughs> or I'm looking through the wrong hole, which is fine. Hey, oh, good stuff. All right. So now we're going to go up one more. Look at this note. This note is amazing. The secret number for getting through the door and back of the kitchen this month is 0302. That is very important. Look at these fellows. Look at them looking around. 
I want to clock him in the head with a golf golf bat. Mm. Anyway. Nope. Two. Two. So four to the right and two to the right. Please. Oh, that a uh... right. Any movement of the uh, third floor unlocks. Uh... I don't know what that guy's name is, <laughs> but that's good. The bloody uh, beds are all lined up. So now I need to exit. I should probably at least look at this. Keep close on the kids. Cells, lights, precaution, private generator. To light up the first and second floors, use the corpse, right? Open the sluice gate on the roof. This is a lot. This is a lot. <laughs> There's a lot going on. A lot of uh, moving parts. Watching the kids. I'm Andrew DeSalvo. They tried to make it seem like an orphanage, but according to that town's holy scriptures, it was actually the center of their religion. That kid Walter, he was really into that mumbo jumbo. Especially that descent of the Holy Mother business. It was scary. Oh, God. Oh. Oh my God, oh my God. So that does kind of sound like me when I'm having an anxiety attack. <laughs> so, pr pretty good acting. Um, Alright, so up we go. My health is not great. And I really don't want to do that again, so we are going to enter this hole. Take a little, little break, boo. Uh.
Somebody turned on the TV, but I really don't care. This paper, on the other hand, is very important. Lately, I've been feeling like my life is in serious danger. I've been through a lot in my life, but I've never felt this kind of pure animal fear. In case something happens to me, I've decided to write down what I've learned for whoever you are that's living in the apartment now. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago in which ten people were killed in ten days. They were killed in a variety of ways, but the one thing that they had in common was that each corpse had the following numbers in order of their death carved into them. The name of their killer was carved in as well. Walter Sullivan. April 4th. All right, so back out to the roof. And we're gonna go down all those holes, which is gonna take us to the kitchen. The code is 0302. Oh, we need to go all the way up to, I think, if that's something we can even do. God, this place is tall. like open the sluice I don't know if I can do that yet but I'm certainly going to at least look okay so yeah I can definitely come up here and do this Jiggling. Oh, okay, right behind us. Yeah, okay, because cause turning that wheel turns the power on. Once, once the power is on, the light shines through down the bloody beds, bloody bedrooms. We'll be in the... Here we are in the kitchen. Is this is there anything down here why did we hmm. I mean there oh watchfulness oh and we do want to unlock can we unlock this um. Unlock this. 
Yes, okay, good. Because that's actually important. Well, I mean, it might be important. It's probably not, but I'm not sure. Y'all gonna respawn? Really? Come on now. end of this area. Yeah. Andrew DeSalvo gets a relatively tame death compared to uh, getting lit on fire or <sighs> well, Cynthia got, Cynthia got s s stabbed a lot, I guess. But he's just he's just here. That's that. One eight one two one. One eight one yeah. Too late. can't save anybody. Is it raining? <laughs> what is that actually? <laughs> like the water prison. Oh, the hole's real big right now. Oh, God. I ain't dealing with that. I'm not, I'm not ready. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to grab this note. It was stuck into the huge rock in the woods. It's a sword with blade with a handmade pyramid-shaped wooden handle that has some kind of spell written on it. It's a weapon. You can't use it, but you can strike and something, something. Five swords. July 23rd. Hmm. What's going on out here, though? No, I don't want to read that. I want to look outside. What is going on out here? Oh. What? You mean the guy who was raped here before? And it wasn't just him either. There's uh, something wrong with this whole apartment. Dude. Don't say that. They're scaring me. Uh, 
That's not weird. Umbilical cord? Well, I forget I said anything. Eh. Eh. <laughs> oh. Oh, Muriel. What is this? What? Who who moved my trash can? Anyway, um, we need to drop some stuff off. By stuff, I just mean that placard, and then we're going to save, and that'll be it. Because um, the next area, I am definitely I am progressively less familiar with the areas that we're going to go to. But good run. Only four saves so far. No deaths yet. Very, very close in the forest area to dying, but I managed to scrape by. So, till next time. Uh-huh.